I'm going to demonstrate making a cantilever card using one of the everyday sets of templates. In this case it's going to be a square. And what I've chosen here to show you how to decide which piece of card goes where, I've purposely chosen card this time which is decorated on one side. So this is going to make a finished A5 card and I'm using two pieces of A4. If you were to use the everyday set or the seasonal, this is what you would be using. And if you were to use the baby set, which makes A6 finished cards, you would have two pieces of A5 card rather than two pieces of A4. Now you're going to score your card in half and both pieces you're going to score it as if you were making a normal card and the pretty side is to the outside. So they're both to be scored in half in the same manner, pretty side to the outside. So then we need to decide from these two which one is going to be on the outside of the card and which one is going to be on the inside. So I've chosen the floral for the outside, the foil stars for the inside. And as you see, the way they're folded, this is the main idea of how you assemble the card. So that the outside is pretty side out, the inside is pretty side out. So we take the template and we place it on the inside left edge of the card. So you're going to take it right up to the edge making sure that it's straight all the way around because this is an absolute precision cut template. You should get perfection every time with this. So I've drawn around this shape here. Now it's only half a square. Don't be tempted to do anything else with it. It's always only half a square. And what I've done now is I've spun the template over so that I've got a straight back. And I'm just going to join the shape together so I've created a rectangle. Now this is going to be the front of my card and I'm going to cut this out. So the front of the card is cut out as a window. And remember, it is only ever going to be half of the desired shape. So if you were to be doing the heart, for example, it would look very odd because all you would be facing is half a heart. And you may think it's not going to turn out right. It does in every case. So if you were to do the circular one, it's a semicircle. Or the oval is only half an elongated oval. Again, the star, half a star. So I always recommend read the instructions, but of course, there are people out there that, like me, rush in too soon and don't thoroughly read the instructions. So there's my first window and I've removed it. So hopefully, this little way of showing you is going to make it so you get it right every time, first time. Now, what we've done again here, this section is going to go on here. So we're working from the inside of the card on here. So again, this is going to be the inside. So place this card down this way and again, you take the, the template and it goes in the left side corner right up to the edge and we're going to draw the half a square so it must stop here and here now this time for the inside we are actually only going to be cutting a slice so we place the ruler upon it and cut it out just straight forward as a slice so the three sides only or what we use on this instance. And now the third side. If you feel that you can't see where you're stopping, you could always pop a little pencil mark like that so that you can see where you're going to stop. Now I've done this card that many times that I've stopped accurately first time. But if you wanted to put a pencil mark at the end of there, that will just aid you to make sure you don't overcut. So now we have this section like so, this section like so with our pop out window. So we need to crease the internal section. So pop it back on our crease board. If you do not have a crease board at home, 
your template will suffice. Now what I've done here, I've creased to the cut and from the cut. So that is halfway between here and here. On your board, if you have a scoreboard, it will be A4 gate that you're going to be aiming for. However, if you do not have a board, use the template. Because if I put this up to here, it's exactly halfway between the fold and the edge. So I can take my scoring tool and I can score down this edge. So do not fear if you do not have a scoreboard because once you've done that you will find that that will work perfectly to fold in. Now we fold this section in as well but look we leave that square out. That is why we embossed to the, to the square section and from it. Don't go through it because this needs to protrude through the front. So once you've folded these two sections together like this we're then going to pop tape on. So if we just pop tape on up to the crease and up to the edge and then on the other section from the edge and I'm just going to be doing a noggin on each of these. If you use double sided tape like I do I think it's always a good tip to rub it down firmly with the back of your scissors. And then if you use a pricking tool or a knife to remove your tape, if you're not using easy finger lift tape, then you'll find this is the easiest way to pull it off. So there we are, I've removed the tape. Now I'm going to join it together. So to join it together, the piece with the hole on, which is the front, wants to be face down on your work surface. The interior piece wants to be face up, so you're looking here at the pattern section. So then all you need to do is hover one above the other until they're square and press down. Now don't just go like this and wipe this down because if you have made a slight misalignment here it will show and the card won't close. So pick it up like this and again give the back the same treatment that the front received. There we have it. Fold it together, the square section comes out at the front. So we open it and we close it. So this is your cantilever action and whichever set of templates you've purchased or are going to purchase, it is the same action all along. Whichever template it is, it is only ever half the shape that you're going to use and you're going to cut out, but it gives you in the end a full shape. So there you can clearly see the square.